up, y'all. It's me again. So at the, at, at the end of every video, well, in the description box, I always put out email address, right? I never even checked the goddamn email. Never even checked the email. And then today, the someone's like, check your email. Well, I was checking other email because I'm a bad email checker. Don't, don't try to judge me, though. So I checked it, and I was like, oh, shit. I got questions in this motherfucker. So I actually had 22, I had 22 emails. We, I say I, cause it's only me doing this video. 22 emails, but I just got 10. So I wrote them down though now. Welcome to 10 for 10 with Dr. T. Yup, Dr. T. I always wanted to be a doctor. All right, let me just jump right in. Let me just jump right in and quit playing. All right, number one. When my girl is upset, she called me out of my name. What should I do? Slap her. No, I'm just playing. When your girl is upset, she called you out of your name. Oh, I think that's very disrespectful. Or I don't make it a habit. I don't practice calling my wife out of her name. Um, it's so many other things that you can call somebody when you're mad with them. So many adjectives. You can call somebody when you're mad with them. Uh, so I just maybe suggest that you talk to her. Um, let them know how that makes you feel. And if you don't see any improvement, the only thing I can tell you is a person can only do to you what you let them do to you. That's it. Number two. Y'all wrote these. I, I, I wish y'all could see these, but, but I, I can barely see it. All right, number two. My wife went to the same massage therapist twice. She told me they talked the whole time through her massages. Last night, I found two missed calls from him in her phone and 20 deleted messages on our cell phone records. I confronted her. She denied everything. She had an explanation. My problem is, why did he feel comfortable enough to call slash text her? Um, I need to know what's going on. Can you give me some advice? Uh, so that's too vague. That's too vague for me to answer. Because I get deep, right? Because I would need to know what kind of relationship you and her got. I would need to know, has something of this nature occurred before? I would need to know, do y'all have any trust in each other? I would need to know what kind of person she is. I would need to uh, just know more. But right off top. Okay, so if my wife went and got a massage from the same person twice... That wouldn't tip me off. But if I see that this massage therapist, who she didn't even know, I'm going to assume she didn't know until she went. I see that this massage therapist has now texted and called her phone and she deleted some stuff. I'm probably going to knock my wife over. I don't know because I don't like to be worried about stuff. Period. Like if I'm with you, I'm with you. Don't come with the slick shit. Because if I ain't coming with it, goddamn me, don't you come with it. If we both ain't being slick, then ain't nobody finna be slick. So, to me, homie, it just sounds like she being slick. It sounds like she just gave you some kind of explanation, but you just need to dig further. And if I were you, I probably would give him a call. Nah, let me back up. I probably would go to his job and give him a visit. I pay him a visit. That's what I would do. But, not me, so however you handle that. Number three. When my girl is on the phone and I call, she don't answer, what would be the reason for that? I don't know. Have you asked your girl? That's all I can say. I don't know. Have you asked your girl? Uh, I don't call my wife and she don't answer. And she doesn't call me and I don't answer. If I don't answer the phone, well, I'm more guilty of not answering than she is, but I'm busy. Like I'm in the middle of a painting. I'm in the middle of designing a shirt. I'm doing something. I'm not answering it because, goddamn me, I don't want to answer, right? So, but that doesn't, to me, that doesn't tip, that doesn't tip anything off. That doesn't mean nothing because she ain't answering. Your wife might not be a phone person and you should know that whether she is or she isn't. All right. Number four. So how long is enough time to wait before you get married? That's totally up to you. If you meet somebody Friday and Sunday, you feel like y'all, you can marry that person. You can have a future with that person. You can build a life with that person. Honey, I say go for it. I'm not the one to tell you you need to be with somebody for 
three years before you marry him. I, I, I almost feel like that was back in the old days. Personally, uh, let's see. My wife and I were together one year and seven months before we got married. Um, so you don't let anybody, if I'm you, I'm not letting anybody tell me how soon is too soon. No. If I love her, him or her, and I feel like we can build a life together, I trust this person, I know enough about this person to put my life in their hands, I do. Okay? Okay. Number five, my wife has a problem with me not wearing my wedding ring every day. Why though? Ask your wife, homie. Ask your wife. I wear my ring every single day. I wear it every day. Uh, I don't wear the same ring every single day. I probably got about four or five different wedding, I call them, well, wedding bands and representations because that's what it is. So... For me, and I can, again, I'm still saying my wife, me, because I'm only speaking from me and my wife relationship, right? I have never seen my wife without her wedding set on. One day she went to work and she said she left it because she was putting her um, lotion on. And I've done it twice. I've done it twice. I'm, I'm super happy to wear my wedding band. I'm super happy. We just celebrated a... Uh, uh, early in the week, three-year marriage. And that morning, she gave me my original. This is my original wedding. Man, I've been waiting all week. A diamond hair fell out of her and she got replaced. So, I don't know. You know, maybe it could be due to her job. But all of this stuff that I think it could be due to, you should already know. And you should have that conversation with her and ask her, why doesn't she like to wear her wedding band? It don't have to be nothing fishy. She just might not want that ring around her finger. Not the ring ring. I'm talking about, you know how to... Your skin be discolored. She might not want that. Number six. Would it be wrong to get married and not tell your family and friends? No. Your family and friends are not getting married. You are. So no, it would not be wrong. Okay? Number seven. My wife and I are having a huge disagreement. She feels I should talk to her before I make any big decisions. Okay, everybody run their household different. Uh, everybody got different opinions. Everybody run their relationships different. Um, so if I were you, well, I understand. Well, you not you just just trying to figure out why would she want you to do that? Because again, almost all of these questions that I got right here, you need to talk to your significant other. Like, can't nobody tell you what they thinking? But I'm going to say, mm, any big purchase that I make, I don't necessarily run it by my wife. My wife trusts me and she knows I'm not going to go out and do nothing stupid with our money. But I do, for me, even when she go and purchase something, I don't, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, just don't be going out financially next, next hole. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Like, that's not a big deal for me. But for some people, finances is a big deal. Maybe she think you're irresponsible. Are you irresponsible? Maybe she, maybe she wants to be in charge. Maybe she is in charge and you don't know it. Uh, and I hate to use that word in charge because in a relationship, nobody should be in charge. You know what I'm saying? Relationship takes two. So, I don't know, but you probably could just sit her down and just be like, you know, what's the big deal? Who, who, what, why do you want me to tell you? And I'm positive she's going to tell you why she wants you to tell her that. It could be something she experienced in the past or, you know, maybe it's something that y'all got going on. I don't know. 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 But uh, just talk to her. Just talk to her. That's, that's easy. You worked it out real easy. You worked it out real easy. Number eight, what's your idea of a healthy marriage? Mm. So, this going to sound crazy when I say it, but you ask me. My idea of a healthy marriage is my marriage. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know, for me, I feel like I know the things, I know my limits in my marriage. I know my limits. 
a healthy marriage is when you know your limits. When you guys can respect each other, when you guys have a huge respect level for each other, that's healthy. When you guys can communicate damn near without communicating, that's healthy, okay? When your spouse is your best friend, that's healthy, okay? You can have more than one best friend, so don't try to tell me, oh, Vicky, my best friend. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. But Aletha should be too. Don't know where I get that name from. I went to high school with a girl named Aletha. Ah, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. So I feel like a healthy marriage is my marriage. My wife is indeed my best friend. She's my best friend. Uh, my wife is my biggest supporter. Um, I'm her biggest supporter. We communicate. Uh, I'm a... I am a communicator, and so is she. But in the beginning, our communication skills were different. Like, I want to communicate about things that's causing problems. She wanted to communicate about things because it's Friday. Everything. And I had to tell her in the beginning, everything ain't meant to be talked about. You understand what I'm saying? You got to pick your battles. Because if you go through your entire relationship, arguing, fussing, communicating, discussing why did you wear yellow shoes with a pink jacket? No, you got to pick your battles. Everything ain't meant to be discussed, okay? So for me, a healthy marriage is communication. It's the relationship. It's the respect. If you have those three things, like in that first question somebody asks, um, they, they, they play a call them out their name and stuff like that, very disrespectful. You will not call me anything other than Twasky or a name that you didn't came up with. Okay? All right. And that's what I think a healthy marriage is. Okay? Uh, nine. How long did it take y'all to move in together? Uh, that's a question that I'm not going to answer. Um, uh, because I don't know. Let's see. June, March. Maybe nine months, uh, but that's neither here nor there for you. Again, that's the same thing with getting married. If you feel comfortable with this person, you feel like this person is a provider. You feel like this person can enrich your life. You feel like this person can enhance your life. You feel like this person is the kind of person who's going to work to pay the bills, who's going to work to get it done. Move in with them. Move in with them. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. Like, that's silly to me, man. Can't nobody tell me no shit about what I can and cannot do. All right, number 10. How much time do you require your, sp your spouse to spend with you to satisfy you? None. But that's just me. That's just me and my marriage. I don't require my wife to do anything except be faithful and honest. Those are the only two things I require my wife to do. Be faithful and honest, okay? I don't require that she spend time with me. It's nice to spend time with my wife, but here's the thing. We both work, and then when we get home from work, we work. You see what I'm saying? So that's the reason why, uh, I don't know if I said it before, but we date a lot. We date a lot. Um, shoot, especially in the summertime when the kid gone. When the boy be gone, we definitely date a lot. But we date a lot, so that means you got to keep it fresh. I got two bonus questions here, okay, because I had 22. I got 10 off top. I got one. Let me, I'm just going to answer one of these two, and the other one I'll say for next time. How do I handle someone who, regardless of the situation, blames you for every problem that comes up? Get rid of them. <laughs> Get rid of them. You, 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 what are you, perfect now? And I'm going to tell you something. People, people always ask that. And you see a lot of people going through that. Be, and, and I feel like, and I can say this, uh, I can say this and I can mean it. When you catch a person who always doing this and never looking at these ones that's pointing back to them, you got to get rid of them. Because that person don't even know who they are. They can't take the blame for nothing because they don't know who they are. It's either they don't know who they are or they think they're perfect. I can't beat with somebody who does no wrong. Everybody do wrong. Nigga, everybody walk on the wrong side of the street. Everybody jaywalk. Everybody wear a brown hat with a blue hoodie. 
popular vintage clothing company. You see what I'm saying? So for me, it would take so much for me to be in a relationship with somebody that blamed me for everything. Mm -mm. Yeah, so my only advice for you, if you've already discussed it with them, again, some of these questions, man, I don't want to give I don't want to give nobody no advice on some of these questions. The only thing I'm going to say, and I'm in this video on this note. When you give a person your permission to mistreat you or do things to you that you don't like, don't love, that is what they'll do. I don't want that's learned behavior. Don't really understand how you could be asking somebody, like, how long have you been with this person who blames you for everything? Because if you've been with them a certain number, a certain length of time, you, you gave them permission to blame for everything. You said it was okay, okay? All right, y'all, that's y'all 10 for 10 with Dr. T, okay? Y'all keep sending, send me some more questions. I like this. I like this. Uh, don't y'all forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That email, uh, the email will be down in the, the uh, description box.